We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of the Hedgesville Eagles, Matt Faircloth. Coach Faircloth, your team a tough road trip last week. You mentioned that some guys most likely were going to be injured and might not have played. It was a tough loss, 41-15. to uh, Just give us a recap of that situation and what were your takeaways from that game? Well, I mean, we were a long road trip for one. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, I thought we got off the bus better than we did in Wheeling Park. Uh you know, we had a game plan of, you know, get pressure on the quarterback, make him move around a lot, which we did. Um, you know, when, you know, we got him in third and eight plus 22 times. Um, you know, and, and when you get him in third and eight, third and long, and you're giving up, you know, 12, 13 yard plays when you got him running around, you know, it was just, we couldn't cover on the back end. Uh, our line, our backers played really, really well. Um, it was just some key mistakes on the back end of letting guys get loose while we were running after him. Uh, and then we get into, you know, we had him four times on fourth down. Um, we stopped him once, and then two other times they scored on a fourth and 19 and a fourth and 13. It's, it's we, we shot ourselves in the foot by not, you know, keeping our eyes out of the backfield in the secondary. Uh, offensively, we ran the ball really well. Uh, they had great size. They're very disciplined. They're a really good football team. Um, takeaways from it is, you know, if, if we do the little things, I think that's a different game. And, Coach, as you mentioned to us heading into the game, you had some injuries. Uh, what are those guys' status this week, and how many of them were able to play in the game against Hoover? Uh, you know, we, we missed three guys in, at Hoover. Uh, we had some more get banged up on Friday night. Uh you know, right now we're we're taking it day by day, but uh, I think at least two two of them will be back, and we're probably going to be down uh, probably three. This week, you guys take on the Washington Patriots, a team also sitting at two and two. Has the new style spread offense that they've switched over to under Coach Ray? What have you seen from the Patriots so far this year in the film that you've got to see on them? I mean, they're you know they've got really good size up front, really really strong, really big guys. Uh, and they got some some young youth skill guys that are really, really talented. Uh, quarterback's young, but he gets the ball out quick. Uh, running backs run hard. They got a big running back that runs really hard. And defensively, they bring a lot of pressure and, and, and they try to get after you. So for us, I mean, it's, you know, it's a, it's an EPAC game and, and we know what we're we're going to see. They're going to they're going to bring pressure and play a lot of man behind it and you know they're going to come after, it and we got to we got to be able to execute. Coach, as we talked about before uh, with Washington, it was the opener. It was a big game early in the season. Still, obviously, you know, first EPAC games so are still a big game, um, and I would say the most competitive rival in some ways in the EPAC for you at times. I mean, obviously, there's other teams, but just historically, it's been a really good matchup for both teams. Um, what does that do for you, and, and how do you guys kind of view this game in terms of the rivalry? I mean, for us, the, the rest of the way, it's like we told the guys Friday night. Uh, from here on out, I mean, we're we're playing we're playing playoff games. Uh, you know, every game from here on out really really matters, and we got to go out, and we got to execute, and we got to win. Um, but the the Washington rivalry, I mean, we 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 battled, we've had really good games over the last you know seven eight years, and. It's it's become that game that you know that you mark on the calendar because for a long time they were they were game one and it was on Thursday night and you know we were the main attraction but now you know Washington you know they got a couple wins and you know here we are setting setting with two wins and it's going to it's it's whoever wins is going to take a jump in the standings. What's your team need to do to be the ones that get the win? Do the little things right. Uh, I mean, we, we talk about it all the time, playing alignment assignment. And, you know, when we play alignment assignment football, we're we're not bad. Uh, but the moment that we line up right, but then all of a sudden we get our eyes in the backfield and, and we give up a big pass play, I mean, it just it does does nothing good for us. Uh, we got to get the ball to our athletes in space on the offensive side. Uh, and, and we, we got to go play football and stop worrying about all the outside noise. Coach, before we let you go, I wanted to see if uh, you have any update potentially on the field surface at Moomaw Stadium. 
Uh, I mean, right now it's, uh, you know, Moomaw Stadium is shut down. Uh, all JV and freshman games have been moved uh, to away games. Uh, we're still working on some uh, key dates of where we can match stuff up and be able to play. That should be coming out within the next couple of days of finally finalizing where we're going to be playing. All righty, Coach. Thank you. Any final thoughts for us? No, fellas. I appreciate it. I appreciate the time, and good luck on Friday. Thank you.